Driving a school bus on snow and ice requires a specific set of skills. During the course of this video, we will demonstrate these skills. It's our goal that the demonstrations in this video will add to the knowledge that bus drivers will need when driving in winter conditions. We would like to also mention that whenever there is a difference between the skills that we are teaching and the policies of your school district, please defer to your district. Each school district has the responsibility to set up the rules that bus drivers must follow. The safety of any school bus begins before the driver leaves the bus yard. Let's take a look at some of the preparations. A good starting place is to check on the weather. The chances are that your transportation office will give you a heads up early each morning on existing weather conditions. Remember, just because you leave the yard on a bright sunny day doesn't guarantee that you won't encounter rain, snow or ice. Always be prepared for changing weather conditions. Because weather conditions can go from mild to severe on any given day, it's important to always bring along additional winter weather gear. Here is a checklist of winter clothing and equipment that you may want to consider. Another important part of preparation is the winter pre-trip inspection. Here are some important tips to keep in mind. Let's start with the tires. Under normal conditions, these tires are completely safe. However, when driving on roads covered with ice or snow, they will not be able to provide the traction that is needed. That is why you must always have chains available. Chains can grip either ice or snow much better than just tires. Besides carrying chains, make sure to carry a shovel, a broom, tire stretchers, and a camlock wrench. Continue checking tires to make sure lug nuts are secure, air pressure is okay, and the tire tread is not worn down. Next, check to make sure the wiper blades are free of cracks and are in good working condition. Also, check lights and reflectors to make certain they aren't covered by debris. Also, check windows and mirrors to make sure they are clear and visible. And make sure the strobe light is in good working condition. There are several other important items to check out. Check the engine compartment coolant levels. Check the battery and make sure it's free of corrosion. Test the heater to make sure it's working and also check the fan to see that it's running properly. Check to make sure your fuel gauge is on full. Do a radio check radio with dispatch. Check, uh, and if you're going on a field trip, make sure you have an itinerary as well as a working and charged cell phone. Another good idea is to have a contact name if you're traveling to a district in another area. 